started our attack on Sarek National Park in Kvikjok, which actually wasn't our initial plan, but I will keep this story for another time. First several kilometers in our legs. <laughs> so far it's been mostly walk through a forest, but it's really nice here. And right now we are next to the lake that's called Stordachta. I'm probably mispronouncing that. We are spending the first night the southern border of Sarek National Park. The route we took today was quite busy because it is part of the Kungsleden hike, which is basically a through hike through all of Sweden. And we really hope that once we actually enter the Sarek National Park itself, it will be a little bit less crowded than it was today. Starting the second day by entering Sarek National Park. Five k's of the day, we climbed above the tree line, which means there are no mosquitoes, but it's windy as hell. There was a cool place to eat lunch, and now we have about 10 kilometers left to our destination today. I mean, is this magnificent or what? To continue our journey into Sarek National Park, we need to cross this lake. Uh, there are two ways to cross it, either on a rowing boat or on a motorboat. Still don't know which one we're gonna choose, but uh, for the time being, we're staying on this side of the lake. Our final decision was to stay here and chill uh, for the rest of the evening and tomorrow morning we're gonna take the motorboat to the other side of the lake to Aktse, I think is the name of the, of the tourist station there. And from there we're gonna start our ascent to Skierfe, which is this uh, really beautiful viewpoint above the Rapadalen Valley. change of plans. The weather was nice, there was almost no wind, so instead of paying 200 Swedish crowns for crossing the lake, Eva convinced me to row across and uh, it was great. Well, I didn't row across, she did. Uh, I was just steering a bit, so yeah. beautiful thing down there is the Delta, River Delta, in the Rapadalen Valley and uh, I think <laughs> it's probably the most famous place in all of Sarek National Park. Interestingly, deltas are usually formed by rivers when they flow into sea, but here in northern Sweden uh, there are river deltas right before big lakes and valleys just like this one. And it was around this time that we figured out that we cannot safely continue with the journey across the National Park. 
We only had limited time and we just couldn't be sure that we would manage the treacherous terrain. We failed, but it was a beautiful failure. We camped for two nights on the border of Sarek National Park and then headed back the same way we came. So today we are hiking through the mountains of Sarek National Park. It's been mostly walking through these unending infinite oceans of stones. It's really tiring and you can't really plan ahead because you don't know if the next kilometer, if you're gonna walk that one hour, half an hour or just 20 minutes. We didn't even know that such weather is possible in Sarek National Park, but today it was nothing but really beautiful sunny weather. After hiking through endless plains on the outskirts of Sarek National Park, we ended the day by again rowing across the lake Light Tavre, again probably mispronouncing that, and now we are hiding away in our tent because otherwise we would be eaten by mosquitoes. Which is the great paradox of this place, because when you want to be here with at least a slight chance of nice weather, like we have right now, the mosquitoes will eat you alive. So even though you might be in one of the most beautiful places on earth, you need to be hidden away in your tent and you cannot enjoy the beauty of it. At the same bridge where we spent our first night, we are finally saying goodbye to Sarex National Park. We are pretty beaten, half eaten alive by mosquitoes, pretty wet and all in all ready to get home. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, it's not funny. So here by this lake we are going to spend the last night of our trip. We made it back to Pitio and here where the all started it also must end. Thank you so much for following along. All your likes, subscriptions and shares, especially shares, are really appreciated. And see you all very, very soon. Now 
I think it also came time to tell you the story why we started in Kvikjok rather than uh, Suorva, which was uh, our planned entry point into the national park. Now we had the opportunity to take a free bus all the way to Kvikjok and save almost 1000 uh, Swedish crowns. So that's why our plans changed right at the beginning. See you, buddy.